I think we've all heard the classic, you know, quote of, of always work for a great leader, don't work for a great company, some, something to that effect. But, um, you know, there's been p- times in my career where I've chosen a company um, over the leader, right? There was a big shiny brand that I went for versus the leader. And I would say that um, that that was a mistake um, that, that I'll never do again. Um, but the mentor standpoint, I, you know, for me at the time, because I was a bit more introverted than most, um, Bill Youngberg helped me a ton because he's definitely over on the extroverted side um, and probably brought it out of me a, a lot more than I, I realized. Um, but also was extremely, uh, kind and compassionate in the development of me. I think he, you know, it it was pure luck, frankly, um, getting such a good mentor. I would like to say I was conscious at the time and selecting him, but he selected me. And, you know, I think it was having compassion and understanding of my unique skills. And I think he just did a great job of, of bringing them out of me in, in such a short time. And I wish I wish I would have been more more selective or conscious of that decision, especially even after that. I don't think I realized at the time how great I had it. Um, but I would have. Uh, that's one thing I guess I'd recommend to people: is just be conscious of, especially through the interview process. And when you're looking at leadership, it matters um, so much. Um, you know, the results thing is, is definitely there, but making sure that you have a good leader who has a process, but also um, has compassion to learn uh, about you and understand your strengths and um, know how to put those strengths to, to use.